Where I've been uh, during the actual lockdowns is at what used to be our little uh, getaway place in the south of Spain, in Andalusia, lovely little town called Zahara de los Atunas, where my wife has been spending more and more time over the last few years. Hamlet um, uh, would be the one who is probably feeling uh, the intensity of the emotion. Oh, that this too, too solid flesh would melt, thaw, and resolve itself into a dew. That that sense of of um, riding the wave of depression um, and of uh, the the light going out. The sense of being in the dark, of not knowing. Um, and, and, and subtly holding uh, uh, his ground, being able to ask the deep questions, to be or not to be, and coming out of it, really at the end of his journey, tuning in to the reality in, in, in the universe, that the readiness is all. You know, that we don't know when our end will be. We don't know uh, uh, what's going to happen, but we can be truly ready and present to embrace the reality that we're faced with. So I think that might be Hamlet's positive uh, little journey. Prospero in The Tempest, the great transformational leader that Shakespeare gives us, I think would definitely be looking at the bigger picture. You know, we are such stuff as dreams are made on, and our little life is rounded with a sleep. And, and that invocation, an invitation to me to knowing that we have this limited lifespan or this limited career span or this limited leadership span, what dreams are we going to bring to reality? Not just to, you know, pass on a functional system, but what dreams are we bringing to birth? Uh, the great human gift of imagination that I hope we can also tune into in tough times. So I'm, I'm a little bit of an optimist. So I, I do try and really look for, for the opportunity and the problems. And I think when we examine, you know, society as a whole, the, the global structure or the globalized structure that we have created, I think many of us would perhaps see it's, it's not actually sustainable. The, the way we have been doing business is not going to lead our great great grandchildren into the lives that we would wish for them and that therefore this break in in our normal um and i'm not sure if we will ever get back to what we used to call normal uh, and i think that's probably appropriate it's like a warning it's like you know a red light flashing saying watch out you're going the wrong way uh, and 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 that capacity to read the warning to read the signs and and say you know this isn't a little blip this is a sign that we're going the wrong way uh, and, and whether COVID started from people abusing livestock in markets or started from some mistakes in biochemical weapons factories, who knows if we will ever know the truth. But both of those things are a sign that we are out of kilter with nature. Uh, and this gorgeous planet that sustained us for uh, the last few hundred thousand years uh, through our evolution is kind of getting ready to shrug us off if if we don't change our way. So uh, uh, I really hope and trust that leaders of organizations will be part of that change because I know there are many grassroots uh, organizations who are embracing it. And I, I think um, the bigger structures are now being called to do the same.